Ooh, hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the Lee Go Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Count negative numbers in a sorted matrix. It seems to be easy. Uh yeah, if you if you check out my background, it's changed again, then you're right. Uh, I'm in I'm in uh, uh Tashkent here in Uzbekistan. Uh, hopefully I'm saying everything right or correctly. Uh yeah. If you want to know what I'm up to, just follow me on Instagram. But uh, yeah, and hope you enjoyed that drone video. It's still from um, Romania. So yeah, uh, today's farm is 1351. Count negative numbers in a sorted matrix. Okay, so given a matrix, count the number of negative numbers in it. So it's sorted, not increasing in both. Okay. So what does that mean exactly? Uh, non, non what? Okay, so it's basically decreasing, except for it can, um, uh, uh, it can also uh, be the same, right? Okay. So I, mean, I don't think this is that bad. I think obviously you can do two loops if you really want to, but that probably isn't really the point of it, um, <clears throat> for obvious reasons, hopefully. Um, yeah, because, you know, if that's the point of it, then, I don't know, then, you know, that's just silly. Uh, maybe, but that is maybe why it's easy, so I don't know. But the idea here is that, um, let's see, right? So if it's going to go down and it becomes smaller and go right becomes smaller, then really you're trying to take advantage of that knowledge to kind of basically have, figure out like, um, so, oops, yeah, so basically you're going to have a border that mm, say something like, like you have, you have some numbers and then you have this four uh, negative numbers, right? And the actual numbers don't really matter, obviously. Uh, and because it can only get lower, oops, uh, all these is going to be the same for that reason. Um, or like it can be the same or extended more to the left. So you have something that look like this, and the shortcut in the counting is trying to figure out where that border is. So I think the first way to do it is just um and and basically you have this weird like diagonally thing where you're just trying to figure out how to do it. So first of all, you I'm gonna go up this way, and if the next one's to the left, then you go down and then keep going, because the, the idea is that. Um, if you kind of draw a line here, the, the next line on the on the next row, the next divider can only be to the left or equal, right? So th therefore, you can always push it to the left is the idea. All right, so now that we kind of have that idea, I think I can start coding. Um, so yeah, so then now let's just say mm, total is equal to zero and... <clears throat> Uh, current is equal to C minus 1, right, say? Yeah. And then we go from top to bottom. So for uh, uh, R, maybe X in range, in range of R. So then now this one we go while uh, grid of current minus 1. All right, so while current minus one is greater than equal to zero, and this thing is negative, that means that we get to move there, right? Um, and actually, we can probably just go from C so that we can actually draw a line at the very end and then just kind of shift it over every time. So, okay, and then now total we add it by uh, the, the number of columns minus current. Yeah, I think maybe I'm, I have to add one. I, I don't think so, though, but maybe I'm more. Oops. Uh, grid of X. I can use the low slow. I don't know why. Hmm. So, yeah, so that looks good for the first two examples. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to submit. Maybe have an off by one somewhere. Okay, looks good. So yeah. Um, so this is going to be R plus C time. 
because you're going to look because if you think about it well this one we, means that we move the thing down all times and then this one means that we're going to only move current to the left at most c time so this is going to be o of r plus c time and of course space is just o of one we don't really do anything right so yeah that's all i have with this one let me know what you think and yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health thanks for your support i'll see you later and take care bye bye